you can go ahead and ask me. Okay, great. Um, if you could just talk a little bit about, um, in your role as Attorney General of Virginia, what got you interested in the criminal justice aspect of some of these issues? Well, even before I was Attorney General, I was on the Courts Committee in our state Senate, so every criminal justice issue on the front side of convictions came through that committee, and I was on another committee called Rehabilitation, among other things. So after conviction was before me on that committee, and I learned an awful lot about the process in Virginia, and of course as Attorney General was very active in this process. And, and I take trying to achieve justice as opposed to merely punishing people who do wrong very seriously. Uh, that is really where I came into this process. I'm also uh, an engineer before I was a lawyer and I believe that the data is out there now there's enough of it that we can see some things that work better than others and more cost effectively and in limited budgets uh, dollars matter and with 95 percent of folks going into our prisons and jails coming back out um, I want us to get the most out of that money in preparing them to rejoin us as citizens. What exactly about right on crime attracted you to want to sign on as a signatory? Well, first of all, I'm a conservative, and uh, I have observed that a lot of Republicans uh, have sort of a knee-jerk, lock them up, throw away the key mentality, uh, whether it's littering or whatever it might be. That you can you can hit a point of overkill, often driven by politics, as opposed to best policy. And uh, I react to that. I, you know, I want to get things right. I've always reacted to that. And Right on Crime is really organized, I think, very effectively. Um, people like me and data from around the country uh, to demonstrate there are better ways to fine tune our criminal justice system so we can be safe from the criminals we need to be afraid of and achieve justice in that process with hopefully more rehabilitation and less recidivism on the other end. Um, we're here in D.C. for the Rod and Crime Leadership Summit. What are you hoping to see tomorrow? What are you hoping to come out of tomorrow's discussion? Well, this being my first, I'm looking forward to hearing a lot of the other perspectives. Um, I certainly know that I'm driven to join Right on Crime by my experiences in the legislature as Attorney General and, and, um, and looking ahead to what we might do better in Virginia, which is where I come from. And I'm real curious what other people in other parts of the country have found and what they're thinking and what they've tried. Uh, I'm a big data hound and I want to I see what things they've tried, even if they've failed. Let's at least know they failed, set them aside as options and move on to some other things. It's one of the great things about states as laboratories of democracy. We can keep trying things. That's a, that's a great phrase. Um, laboratories of democracy. Um, what um, what would you say to conservatives that are looking at criminal justice issues on, on where they should be falling on these issues? Well, the first thing I would say is think through them comprehensively. Oftentimes, in a state legislature especially, one bill will come to raise a penalty for one crime and you look at it in isolation and you know the story is told by the sponsor about what awful thing got underpunished and boom, everybody votes for it. Then you've got yourself your newest felony and uh, where you've ratcheted up the penalty on the felony. And that may be appropriate, but it really can't be determined unless you look at that one proposal in the context of your whole criminal justice system and what it's gonna cost you, one, and what it's gonna get you, two. And by part of what it's gonna get you is safety from this criminal, but also the opportunity to forcibly, because we force them into jail, of course, um, be returned to society in a fashion better than they go in. And that seems like a simple standard. Will what you're proposing result in this person coming out of jail better than they went in? If the answer to that question isn't yes, um, there's a good reason to step back and question whether one should go down that path. Okay, great. Anything else you want to add about running crime? No, I'll probably have a lot more to add after tomorrow. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Sure.